welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long. I haven't posted a video in a really long time. Um, I had some free time today, so uh, I thought I'd do a Try It Out Tuesday. And a few of my friends have actually tagged me in this video and they wanted me to try it out. So um, that's what I'm going to do today. So I'll post a picture of the final product right about here. And we'll, we'll just get started right away. So how we're supposed to start is with a middle separation. And you know me and my middle separations. I like never do it down the center. It's always a little bit off to the side. So that's how I'm going to do mine. And then just separate your hair in half. Grab half of it on each side. And then you are going to do a fishtail braid down the front here. And it's gonna look a little bit crazy at first, but the final product is supposed to be really cool. So, again, this is the first time that I'm trying it out, so we'll see how it goes. Um, and also my mirror is behind the camera, so sometimes I might be like leaning a little bit off to the side just to see, to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Also, I'm getting my hair cut in like two days, so I thought I should try this out while I still have my full length. I'm not doing like super, anything super drastic, but um, still, it's gonna be a little trim and it's gonna be harder for me to do this hairstyle, so I thought I'd do this now while I have the chance. So, I'm gonna take two pieces. And you're gonna do a fishtail braid the under way. So instead of bringing your piece over, you're going to tuck it under. And keep doing fishtail braids, but you're also going to be adding a little bit of hair each time. I feel like I look a little bit crazy. You're gonna want to make sure that your hair is brushed out because if not it's just gonna make it that much harder I love how I'm giving you guys tips on how to do this hairstyle like I've never done it before <laughs> I'm just a professional I know how it works I also feel like I'm kind of like making my own like I'm choking myself with my own hair so just keep adding hair to your fishtail braid is it even? I don't even know if it's working, but with a lot of these hairstyles that I try out on my Try It Out Tuesdays, I never know if it's gonna work until the end. Like even halfway through, I still don't even know. And then sometimes it comes together at the end, and sometimes it's a complete disaster. But I only know at the end, so that's really fun. And as you know, with fishtail braids. They take forever. And I haven't had that much experience with um, fishtail French braids, like fishtails where you add hair as you go along. But this is a good way to practice because it's in the front and you can see. So what I find is easier is if you do, you take your piece, you cross it under, and then you take your additional piece to add on instead of like adding it with your new piece. I don't even know if what I'm saying makes any sense to you, but it's okay, I understand myself. This is like not so much of a workout too. When you normally do a fishtail braid in the back of your head, it's like your arms are killing by the end. But this one, I don't need to hold my arms up so Super easy. Okay, did I get everything? I think I took too much hair at the start because I don't have any more hair to add on. I'll just do a regular fishtail to the end. Also, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to get it over my head. We'll see, I guess. This hairstyle also doubles as a scarf. Winter's coming up and 
you need to save your money for other things, you can always not buy scarves and just use your hair. Oh my gosh. I look like a crazy person. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, I definitely took too much hair at the start. Look at that. It's gonna be like halfway French braid and then halfway regular fishtail. Oh my word. Also, if you see me like wiggling a lot, I'm sitting on my feet and I can't do that. I'm like super not flexible and my feet are killing me. Okay, we're almost there. It's gonna be a pretty short video. I'm just gonna like fast forward through all this. Probably won't even hear anything that I've been saying this whole time. All right, and then when you get to the bottom, you're going to add, or you're gonna uh, tie it with an elastic. And I'm gonna look weird, but I always keep my little elastics in these little pill bottles. Cause then I don't lose them. It's perfect timing for this too, cause it's November. I can be part of the Movembers. <laughs> okay, you ready? So now you're supposed to put this over your face. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get like anxiety and feel trapped. I'm not even claustrophobic, okay. Here we go. Okay, it's over my ears. Ah, oh, I did it too tight. <laughs> I'm stuck. Guys, I'm stuck. <laughs> Uh. Oh. <sighs> I made it. How does it look from the front? Pretty cute. Now from the back, you're going to see it first. I haven't even seen it yet. Here we go, turning around. Is it nice? It's so dark. That's all for today's Try It Out Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it and you guys can go try this out because it's pretty cool and it's not that hard. It's just a little bit scary when you have to put it over your head but if you make it, it's all good. So um, I hope you like my video and feel free to tag me in other videos like my friends did. Um, like my friend Cece Bakes. Shout out to Cece Bakes. Go follow her on Instagram. She makes amazing baked goods and all kinds of cakes and stuff. So go follow her on Instagram. I'll put her link somewhere around here and in the description box too. So go follow her, no excuses. She's my number one fan. <laughs> And don't forget to like my video, give it a thumbs up, and share with your friends if you feel like it. Um, thanks, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. So the race is going, we're eating our food, and it's pretty cool because you can watch the race on like little TVs in our room, but you can hear it happening live because you guys know how loud like F1 cars are. They're like so loud. So we're just in the back, we're just like on our phones, just relaxing, take our shoes off and rest our feet for a bit before we have to go back out on the track.